Hey guys and welcome to part 2. Uh, so in this one I've added my content that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be setting up the animation blueprint uh, with the simple apocalypse stuff so that these zombies look uh, like zombies. Um, so let's, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into the zombie folder and uh, I'll delete that. That's from setting up my test already. I'll just get rid of that. So uh, we're going to go to the animation IPC. There might be a root motion folder there if you're using this. Uh, you can just ignore it. You can get rid of that one. Uh, we're not going to use that. So we're going to right click, retarget animations, duplicate anim assets, and uh, get rid of show compatible assets only. And uh, the top one is the one we're going to use. It'll be the one that's in this simple apocalypse. Uh, if you're following along, you don't have the simple apocalypse stuff. You can just use this with the um, third person mannequin and all that. So after you've copied that content, it's going to create all these things here. So we'll just go back to the zombie folder, create a new folder, retargeted anims, and we'll just drag all of these into there. <clears throat> just save everything. So now we're going to create our animation blueprint. So we'll do uh, right click, animation, animation blueprint. And uh, we'll make it based off the SK, oh, oh geez. Oh no. Yeah, SK character survivor, uh, male or whatever one we'll use. So, Anim, uh, Anim BP Zombie. I'll just save all. Alright, so we'll go into here and we're just going to make him have a little walkie animation and idle. We'll go to the event graph and we'll do uh, try get pawn owner. Or is it try get pawn? Yeah, try get pawn owner. Cast to base zombie. And, uh, and then we'll do get speed. Oops, actually, get velocity is what we want. Length. What to value, uh, speed. <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're getting the velocity and we're getting its length and we're setting that to the speed and this is what we'll use to control the speed of the uh, anim. And then we're also going to do uh, right click calculate direction and uh, we'll do just make a rotator here and then we'll connect velocity to this and we'll put this to direction all right and compile and save and now I have a feeling this won't work right because I never I don't remember exactly how to do it but we'll uh, we'll see what's, what's going on here all right so we need a new state machine so we'll connect it to state machine Drag off that, do state machine, we'll name it locomotion. If I can remember how to spell. And we'll go in there, and we'll do drag off this, add state, we'll call it idle. And we'll drag off there and we'll do state called moving. And we'll also drag back. Now we'll set these things up. <clears throat> Alright, so if we're speed is greater than 10 greater than or equal to 10 then we can start moving and we'll just uh, copy this and uh, go back to our locomotion we'll go here so this is from moving to idle so if our speed is less than 10 then we can go back to idle all right we'll go back to our state machine here so idle, when we're idle, we're going to play, we'll go to the asset browser and we'll type idle, <coughs> drag that in there. All right, we got our guy going to idle, go back to the locomotion, we'll go to moving, and then we'll do, I can remember how to do this, chase, yeah, we'll do chase, I guess. So,
And uh, we'll go back to our zombies. We'll just select one of them here so we can get it to it real quick. Go to viewport, go to mesh. We'll change this to zombie. And we'll just make it a zombie farmer for now, or I guess a zombie clown. No, that guy has no legs, that won't work. We'll make it a zombie farmer. We'll change his anim blueprint to zombie. Pile and save. And um, I guess we'll get rid of P. Hit P to get rid of that, and we'll hit play. And uh, this actually works, not too bad. I guess we didn't need to do the direction thing um, in this case, but uh, um, it's related to the rotation. I'm sorry, ignore what I'm saying, it's not relevant. Okay, so uh, we have our anim boot print. It's really basic, but for now, that's good, I think. We don't really need this direction part, um, but we're gonna keep it just in case we use it later. Because we could add, um, we can add turning to the zombie, um, but for now we're not going to worry about that. All right, so that'll do for part two, I think, uh, just so I can get the uh, zombie and a blueprint out of the way. And uh, next we'll move on to adding some more gameplay elements.